Pizzazz Primary Performing Arts keyboard lesson for the song Chopsticks. Super easy, super famous song. If you don't know how to play this song and you play the piano, whoa! Well, we're gonna fix that right now. Everyone who plays the piano should know this song. The first thing you're going to do is you're gonna pause this video and you're gonna check out this link. Watch this awesome video from the movie Big where they play the song Chopsticks on a giant foot piano. Great movie, great song, great piano. So check out the link so you can hear what Chopsticks is supposed to sound like. Now this song is great for absolute beginners, but it also is a fun song for people who already know a little bit about the piano as well. So we're gonna have a little look at our lesson objectives first, and then we're gonna start learning this super easy fun song called Chopsticks. Here are our learning objectives. In this lesson, we aim to, one, identify and play dyad chords. Two, combine oral, which means listening, and theory, which is notation, skills to learn a song. And three, experiment with playing the song at different pitches and different tempos and performing for a friend or family member. Here come our curriculum links. This information is for your teachers. They can pause to read this while we are going to get cranking straight into learning the song Chopsticks. Now remember, it is much easier to learn a song from a video if you have a practice piano. This here is a practice piano. A practice piano is just a printout of a piano on a piece of paper and you can use that while you are watching the tutorial. The great thing about a practice piano is you can practice on it and it doesn't make any noise, which means you can still hear the video tutorial beautifully and no one can hear your mistakes while you're learning. Just Google search and search for labeled piano keyboard pictures and you'll find the picture you like, print it out and you've got yourself a practice piano for free. So grab your practice piano if you have one and let's get cranking with our tutorial on chopsticks. So here is the song that we are going to learn. The song is called Chopsticks, as you can tell by the title. Now you can see in this music that it is in the treble clef. There's the treble clef there. Now remember, if we see the treble clef at the start of our music, it means we are playing high notes. So when we are on the keyboard, we are using the high half of the keyboard, not the low part. Alright? We can also see in our sheet music that it says that we should play the song Allegro. That's Allegro there, Allegro. Allegro is a music language word and Allegro means that you have to play it fast. But every time we learn a song, we always start learning it slow and after we've practiced it for a long time, then we'll try and play it Allegro. You can see it also says here MF, MF. That means moderately forte, moderately forte. And in music language, that means it me medium loud, medium loud. Okay, all right, so let's have a look at our notes. Now you can see there are two tars stacked on top of each other. It's weird, it looks like a tar with two legs. Well, this is called a dyad chord. A dyad chord has two notes that you play at the same time time. So here you can see we play a G and an F at the same time. Here you can see it changes to a G and an E at the same time. Let me show you what a dyad chord looks like. It's when you play two notes at the same time. So here's a dyad chord. Here's another dyad chord. Here's another dyad chord. And another one. So it's whenever you play two notes at the same time, that is called a dyad chord. So let's have a look at what dyad chords are in the song Chopsticks. To play Chopsticks, we actually need to use two hands, our right hand and our left hand. Now we can see on our music that it says G and F. 
Whatever note is on top, that is the note you play with your right hand. Whatever note is on the bottom is what you play your left hand with. So right hand on top, left hand at the bottom. Just think left, low, left, low. So left starts with L and low starts with L. So we know that our left hand has to be lower than our right hand. So as you can see, we start with a G and an F and then we move to a G and an E. So let's have a look at the start. So we get our pointer fingers. My pointer finger from my right finger from my right hand is going to go on the G and the pointer finger from my left hand is going to go on the F right next to it. So they're a bit squished here and we play it six times. So you go like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Except in music, we don't really count it in lots of six. In this song, we would count it in two lots of three like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. So get your practice piano, set up your pointer on the G from your right hand and get your left hand pointer and set it up on the F. And we're going to practice playing that together six times. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. Okay, now the next dyad chord on our music, it shows us that we have to play a G and an E at the same time. So our right hand has stayed on the G. Well, that's easy. Our right hand's lazy then. It's only the left hand that is moving. So we've gone from the F and the G six times. Then we move to the E and the G six times. See how my left hand is moving? My right hand is not. So then we play the E and the G six times. Let's practice just playing the E and the G six times. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're going to put it together. We're going to play the F and G six times, then straight into the E and G six times. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now change. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try it again. F and G six times, then E and G six times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, change. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. F and G six times, then E and G six times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change. One, two, three, four, five, six. Easy, huh? Now it gets a little bit trickier. Have a look at the music. The music says that we now change to a B and an F. So right hand's on the top, left hand's on the bottom. So the B is our right hand, F is our left hand. So we need to move from the E and G, our left hand moves up one to the F, and our right hand moves all the way up to the G. And we have to play that six times. So we were on the E and the G, left hand moves up to F, right hand moves up to the B, and we play that six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, so try that on your practice piano, left hand on the F, right hand on the B. Try that six times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now watch me, I'm gonna put all of those together, the F and the G, then the E and the G, and the F and the B. So just watch me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try it with me. From the beginning, F and G. Left hand on F, right hand on G. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, so the change to the F and G is the hardest one. From the E and the G to the F and the B, that is the hardest change to the F and the B. But the next bit's actually pretty easy. The next part of the song sees us, both hands just move out one more note to play the C on the right hand and the E on the left hand. Now you see here, it doesn't look like a tar because it's got a white tummy instead of a black tummy. That makes it a tar ah, and it is worth two beats instead. So we hold that for two beats. So we just play these three notes here, these three dyad chords. 
C and E three times. The rhythm's a bit weird though, let me show you. So we have just gone from the F and the B and then we move out one on each hand. So see how we were there? And we now move here to the C and E and we just go one and two. So see how I hold it? One and two. One and two on the C and E. So now here's the way that I think is the easiest way to say and play chopsticks. So we start with our F and G and we know we have to do it six times. But the way that I say and play it is I go like this. One, two, three, four. F and G, F and G, E and G, E and G, F and B, F and B, C and E which is a really, really easy way of playing it and saying it. So again, when I start in the F and G, I go F and G, F and G, E and G, E and G, F and B, F and B, C and E. Pretty easy, right? I reckon that's one of the easiest ways to say it. I'll show you again. So starting on the F and G, I go one, two, three, four. F and G, F. Pretty cool, right? So if you can say it, you can play it. Try and say it with me. Ready? One, two, three, four. F and G, F and G, E and G, E and G, F and B, F and B, C and E. And then it tells me what notes to play within the rhythm. I think that's a great way of saying it and playing it. Remember, if you can say it, you can play it. In a few short moments, I'm going to put the sheet music up on the screen for you to copy. But remember, before you start practicing on your own, remember to follow these keys to good practice. Remember, start playing at a slow tempo. Don't go too fast too soon. Practice over and over and over again. The last thing you want to do is practice once and go, I'm finished, because you're not. Number three, split the song into small chunks and learn it chunk by chunk, okay? Don't try and do it all at once. It'll be too tricky and take the time to experiment with different pitches. Try playing the song on the high notes in the piano and the medium notes and the low notes and see which pitch you prefer the most. All right, here comes the sheet music, guys, and take as much time as you need to practice. Go for it. Now, one of the most fun things about learning how to play a song on an instrument is performing it for somebody else. So you can pick a friend or a family member that you could perform the song for if you like. Now, these are some keys to improving performance. You can do these three steps to help your performance be even better. Add an introduction saying who you are and what song you are playing. Don't forget to count in to set the beat. One, two, three, four before you start playing. And of course, have you experimented with the different pitches that you could play the song at? Well, experiment with the different tempos too, and make sure you pick the one that sounds the very best for your performance. With those tips, your performance will be even better. So why not pick someone that you know to have a little play for and perform for them? Good luck. Our lesson is coming to an end, but don't forget you should always check back with the lesson objectives and self-reflect. See how well you did. Did you achieve the aims that we set out to at the start of the lesson? Self-reflect, have a think. Well, I hope you enjoyed this piano lesson. Remember, there are lots of drama and music lessons at our YouTube channel, Pizzazz Primary Performing Arts. So check it out, head on over there and see if there's any other lessons you might wanna give a crack. Until then, remember, the whole world's a stage and the stage is yours.